due to their extraordinary background with paranormal activity, the owners of the Washington Nationals baseball team, the Lerner family, have hired the From the Cheap Seats hosts, Kasha, Bernice, and Thad, to investigate, and if necessary exorcise, dangerous phantoms inside the team stadium. It is October 31st, 2020. Halloween night. What the hell is that? It's likely a gray wolf, also known as the species Canis lupus. Thanks, Bernice. I think he meant, why is a wolf howling in a city where there haven't been any wild animals for over 250 years? Actually, the National Zoo is only seven miles away. I thought all they had there were pandas and elephants. Seven miles is a long way. That wolf sounds very close. Mr. Helsley, you promised not to be a total pussy if we took this job. I did? Look, I already spent my share of the deposit. We're going in. I did too. Biotech stocks are going through the roof. <sighs> Fine. Whoa, whoa there, sports fans. The National Stadium is closed. Oh, great. A security guard. <laughs> In case you missed it, the season ended five weeks ago. We know that. We're here on contract with Lerner Enterprises. Here. Hmm. Well, these papers look in order, but you folks really don't want to go in there. No, we do. We're here to investigate paranormal activity. Thanks. I can read fine, young lady. I'm just telling you, you don't want to go in there. Thanks for the advice, Rent-A-Cop. Can you please just open up the door? Oh, you're a feisty one, little lady. Sir, please. Look, I'm serious, guys. Did they tell you what happened in 1777, on this very night, on this very ground? The murders! Yes, of course! They weren't just murders. German Hessian mercenaries literally butchered 162 American soldiers. Ugh, good grief. I'm talking chopping guys' heads off, removing their major organs, while they were still alive. Stuff that would make a Nazi blush. Thank you for your candid observations. We will include them in our report. Mark my words. I've been a guard here since the stadium opened in 2008, and I've seen a lot of strange things. The ghosts of those horrifically defiled patriots seek revenge. And the Hessians they managed to kill are even worse. Look, it's all superstitious nonsense and folk legend. That's what we're here to prove. He doesn't think so. Hey, just unlock the door, buddy. We're on the clock. All right, your funeral. Hey, young lady, take this. What is it? It's an emergency locator. If you get in trouble, press the red button and I'll send our guys in. We can reach you in minutes anywhere in the park. Well, I don't think it will be necessary, but thanks. Good luck, folks. You're gonna need it. Ah, I should have known this was gonna suck. Please, Mr. Helsley, try not to pee yourself. What's next, Bernice? Flashlights on. Then please activate the body cameras I gave you. All of this will be recorded for our clients, the learners. Done. Done. I will operate our spectral analysis and infrared equipment. Let's go. We simply have to walk each concourse on the three levels and record data. Finally, we will enter the locker rooms. Ah! Oh my god, what do we do? I brought adult divers if you need them. This must be a trick of some kind! Who's that? I am the murdered wife of Major Hauptmann head of the American regiment that was slaughtered. Bernice, are you getting any readings? No, but I can see her with my own digital eyes. Go back now, your lives are in danger. Yeah, yeah, we should go back, just like she says. Bernice, I don't see any projectors. Is this like an Astro's sign stealing thing? It could be, I'm checking. No one's going back. We're not. You know, back sounds like a good option to me. Then your lies are forfeit. Wait a second, there's another witch? She's right. You must go back now. Wait a minute, who are you, lady? I'm the murdered wife of Lieutenant Grover. A lieutenant? Really? Beat it, Bimbo. This is my concourse. This isn't your concourse. Who made you queen of hell anyway? A. My husband outranks yours by like 10 ranks. B. I'm working this concourse! Or did you not get the email? Kasia, what's going on? 
I don't know. Maybe a ghost cat fight? Ooh, wife of a major. Your shit don't stink, is that it? You know what? You are a dead woman. Yeah, I know. For like 240 years, just like you. I'm escalating this right to Lucifer himself. You're done. Yeah, well, you can kiss my transparent poltergeist butt. No one works my concourse, you little lieutenant biatch. Okay, time out, ladies. Time out. We're on contract here, and we need to pass. You ladies have to take your argument offline and let us pass through. Okay, fine. I'm just saying your heads are going to be chopped off and your intestines sprawled out on the concourse. Yeah, what she said. Oh, okay. That's good enough for me. Thanks for the intel, girls. We'll be going now. Shut up, Mr. Helsley. Where will we meet your husband's regiment? You'll never make it past the Burger Barn concession in Section 123. Thanks. And by the way, some of the patriarchal stuff you're obsessed with is gone. You can vote now and even run for president. President? Really? Yes, really. You can also be a senator or a CEO. What's a CEO? Suit up, pussies. We're going to the burger barn in 123. Is, is that such a good idea? Bernice, you got the holy water? I do. Good. We're going to exercise these dead patriots and send them to heaven where they belong. Back at the main gate to the stadium. A1A, are you there? Roger that. Did you admit the podcast team? Uh, yes, sir. They had papers from the learners. They seemed in order. Yes, but half the corporate staff have since turned into flesh-eating zombies. That's unfortunate, sir. We need you to extract those podcasters from the property immediately. They've triggered something. Uh, you mean go inside the stadium on Halloween night, sir? Yes, immediately. And one more thing. What? Wait! No! Security! Back up! Hello? 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 Hmm. Must be the batteries. Back in the stadium, our three from the Cheap Seats hosts continue their trek to their final destiny toward the burger barn. This is section 125. We're almost there, everyone. I'm receiving spectral readings on my equipment. Gazia, can we reconsider this? I have reservations for all of us as a diplomat! No! Bernice, who are all these guys? Readings are off the scale. 162 separate paranormal entities. I must assume they are the members of the slaughtered regiment. Cassia, none of them have any hands. You should not have come, Cassia. You were warned. We told you. Listen, we have holy water. We can help you. You're the ones that need help now. You just heard part one of the From the Cheap Seats Halloween special. And don't miss part two, the thrilling conclusion, which will be released on or before Halloween night. Stay tuned. In the last episode of the From the Cheap Seats Halloween special. No. Bernice, who are all these guys? Readings are off the scale. 162 separate paranormal entities. I must assume they are the members of the slaughtered regiment. Cassia, none of them have any hands. You should not have come, Cassia. You were warned. We told you. Listen, we have holy water. We can help you. You're the ones that need help now. But one week prior to the events of part one, Kasia was in a hotel room in Washington, D.C., waiting for a meeting with the Washington Nationals' ownership, the Lerner family, and waiting, and waiting. Washington, D.C. Shit. I'm still in the capital. I hate this sewer of a town. Every minute I sit in this room, I get weaker. Every minute Len Holtz zombies occupy the Nat Stadium, they get stronger. Housekeeping? Do you uh, need room clean? I hardly said a word to my cat until I said yes to the animal rescue people who took her away. All I wanted was a contract, 
and for my sins they gave me one. Miss Cassia, are you in there? And when it was finally over, I'd never want another one. All right, Estebar, let's go in. Finally, I was to meet the infamous Ted Lerner, the 95-year-old owner of the Nationals. Miss Cassia, glad you could join us. Yeah, whatever. So, Cassia, you're the famous podcaster who makes fun of my team. Yeah, that's me, Mr. Ted. Grove, what about an eye-opener over here? Anything with vodka? Toot sweet! <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> I have a job for you, young lady. Good. And hopefully several aspirants, too. Play the digital recording, David. This was obtained through our supernatural radio technology. I will kill all Nationals fans, and my people will devour them. Pig after pig, I the assassin the learners are all right turn it off turn it off that really put the hook in my mouth i already knew confronting lenholt a 240 year hessian soldier was my destiny but mr lerner brought it to me like room service kasia this hessian zombie is destroying my franchise he might even destroy all of baseball yeah I hear he's a total bitch. I will pay you anything you want, but you must terminate the zombie Hessian Colonel Lenholt at his command. Terminate with extreme prejudice. I took the job. What the hell else was I gonna do? Work the census? Flash forward to the events immediately following the end of part one. Wait! Before you kill us, who are you? I'm the commander of the 162 men slaughtered in 1777. You must be Major Hoffman then. I am. How do you know that? We're paranormal investigators and we came here to free you. Yeah, free you. We met your wife's ghost. Really? Well, please don't tell her I'm here. I'm supposed to be out bowling. We can exercise you and your men and free all of you to heaven. Really? Yes. Didn't you ever see the movie The Exorcist? Please. Of course. We've been dead 240 years, but we still have Netflix. That movie is still creepy today, but the special effects are a bit lame by today's standards. Uh, well, that's what we're going to do. You guys just look like douchey podcasters to me. No, we actually brought a professional exorcist priest. Hey, everybody! Glad to see you! Father Exorcist here. That's right, top rep of the big man himself. Just flew in from Vegas, and boy, are my arms tired. (laughs) Ah, It's an oldie but a goodie, but... Well, you boys look like crap. Um, guess we need to get you out of Satan's grasp, huh? I'm the man to do it! This is your exorcist? We work for the Lerner family. We're on a strict budget. Dude, that tie is awesome. So retro, I'm digging it. Too bad you got no hands. <laughs> so you brought us a Walmart exorcist? Well... Uh... Okay, everyone, repeat after me. The power of Amazon commands you. Oh, wait. Uh, wrong client. I mean, the power of, uh... Ah, uh, God, what is that guy's name again? No, seriously, it's gonna come to me. Do you mean the Supreme Being? Yes, him, him! The big guy, I knew I'd get it, the power of him! You guys are actually serious with this. It doesn't matter. The Pope cleared him to exorcise you. You and your 162 men will be in heaven by midnight. Go with it. <sighs> Think of it like a Vegas wedding. Can't be, but still legal in most states. All right, thanks, I guess. Then we'll spare your lives. What do you want in return? Uh, well, we, we still need to get the Hessian ghosts out of the stadium, too. Well, they're not ghosts, Fat Batman. They're flesh-eating zombies. 
much worse than us. Really bad guys. So, good luck. And just remember, one bite of a zombie and you become one yourself. Fine. Our risk. Where are they? They run the concourse above us. 200 level. By the way, how are you with... Wolves? Wolves? What do you mean? WOLVES! RUN! Suck it, podcasters! <laughs> you SOB! You betrayed us! We're hell ghosts, Blondie! Duh! <laughs> we should have sent him to hell and not heaven. Okay, duck in the fajita fastball! Here! Not through that window! Yes! Lock that door fast, Bernice! Whew! We made it. Those hounds would have torn us to pieces! Back at the main gate. Sir, did you receive an emergency message from the podcasters? No, but our commander's orders were very clear. Before he was torn to pieces, extract the podcasters now. Let's go. Tasia, wouldn't this be a good time to get out of this haunted stadium? Mr. Helsley, are you really going to fall apart over a few hundred headless ghosts, ravenous wolves, and flesh-eating zombies? Uh, yeah, yeah! Is there a better time? Into this air vent, everybody. We can climb up to the second level through here. Yeah, but, but then what? Bernice, do you have that Alexa unit I asked you to bring? I do. Also, you should activate that emergency locator the guard gave you. Good idea, Bernice. The security team have already entered the haunted stadium and are searching for the From the Cheap Seats podcast hosts. Sir, the emergency locator. You're right. 200 level. Let's go. We're almost there, everybody. Stand by. Here we go! Come on! I was really looking forward to the French onion soup at Le Diplomat. Mr. Helsley, will you please shut your cake hole? Len Holt, it's you. Oh, welcome, Cassia. We've been waiting for you. Back with the security team, the would-be rescuers. Hold it, everyone. Sir? What's that? Commander? Is that you? Um, uh, you look better, sir. Really? You think? Look, I was torn apart by zombies and now I've become one myself. That's unfortunate, sir. And now I'm gonna devour all of you and turn you into zombies too! Uh, not good. <laughs> Lieutenant? I've watched many zombie movies, sir. The way to kill one is to blow their head off. Hmm. Great fast thinking, Lieutenant. You saved all of us. And you just made Employee of the Month. We still have to get to 200 level and save those podcasters. Let's go. This was my destiny. I knew it. The corridors of Nat's stadium snaked like zombie-torn entrails, all leading to Colonel Lenholt. But I didn't know what I would do when I met him. Wait! We can help you! Yeah, your holy water and exorcist cannot help us now. We're zombies. There's, there's no going back for us. Yeah, but what about eternity and beachfront property in Barbados? I have the deed! Here! Signed by Ted Lerner himself! Beachfront, you say? The Lerners? Hey! You guys, want to shut up? I can't even hear myself think over here. Uh, well, we are zombies. Yeah, well, take a coffee break, okay? I'm working over here. Except they closed Cappuccino Castle when COVID started. Friends, don't start with me now. My apologies, Cassia. You don't know how hard it's been living with these morons for 240 years. It must have been difficult. You have no idea. So, is this property west-facing? Yes. You get to see the sunset every night. Everyone gets their own room. Hmm. Open bar, I assume. Obviously. Grey Goose, McAllen 15, all the best. <sighs> Colonel, if I may interject? Yes, Jamie, please. Go ahead. Oh, shit. Here we go. Everyone knows the coolest place in the Caribbean in 2020 is Turks and Caicos. That's where all the celebrities go. Mm. Wouldn't you want to eat Beyonce or Brad Pitt? Barbados is almost an insult to a zombie. Uh, Garcia, the negotiation is not going well. You're right, Jamie. 
This is a trick. Proposal rejected. Wait. Pick out your favorite one to devour. I like the fat guy. Wait. Me? Wait. Bernie, can't you do anything? I don't think so. We are unarmed against an army of zombies. Lenholt, you just crossed the line. Now I will be forced to use my secret weapon. And what's that? Okay, all you zombies, hit the floor or we'll... Uh, uh what do we do again, Lieutenant? Blow their heads off. Right, right, of course. We will blow your heads off. Men, charge! Wait, I have a secret weapon. Bernice, activate Alexa. Here we go. You were right, Kasha. Disco music can kill them. Great idea. This is not over, Kasia. Do you hear me? I will see you in hell! Thanks, young lady. Close one. You clearly did a great job for the Washington Nationals and all of baseball. You're welcome. Hey, Bernice, let's see if we can take advantage of that reservation at La Diplomat. Great idea. I'm texting Uber now. That French onion soup sounded pretty good. Thanks for everything, guys. See ya. <sighs> well, Lieutenant, you did an amazing job tonight. Can I buy you a beer? Lieutenant? Lieutenant? Were you bitten by one of those zombies? The From the Cheap Seats podcast is a public service provided by Thad Helsley Media LLC 2020. All rights reserved.